Smriti. What? Double trouble is getting over, yeah, Smriti. <laughs> Such an overacting person, man, you are. I'm not overacting. I'm really crying. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> Just your. Sometime back, you put water in front of me. Now I have to do this. Hold on. You could see my tears. No. Okay, fine. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome back to Double Trouble. This is the last episode of this entire series, and it's been such a crazy experience hanging out with you guys. What do you say, Smriti? Yeah, I think um, last one month shooting Double Trouble was quite a lot of fun and a uh, lot of new memories, and we had such uh, different uh, guests and. सबके स्टोरीज इतने अलग थे आई स्पेशली रिमेम्बर आई थिंक द दीपिका कुमारी स्टोरी लाइक जब अपन उसको क्वेश्चन पूछते थे शीज टू सी राइट लेफ्ट डाउन स्माइल एंड देन शीज टू आंसर लाइक लिटरली एवरी क्वेश्चन डू यू रिमेम्बर दैट डे या आई रिमेम्बर एंड यू रिमेम्बर वन आई थिंक इट वाज श्री श्रीजेश एंड भूवी सो वी हैड गिवन देम अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम दे हैड कम 15 मिनट्स अर्ली एंड बोथ ऑफ अस वर नॉट प्रिपेयर्ड वी स्टिल डिस्कसिंग व्हाट वी नीड टू पुट इन द शो एंड ऑल दैट एंड देन दे केम इन We used to, uh, we used to get, uh, we used to come one hour before and discuss our questions, and they were like fifteen minutes before the time, and yeah. we had like I think two or three questions ready there, and we were like, what are we gonna ask them? And they say guests को बाहर भी रुका नहीं सकते ना, we had to yeah. enter them into the show, yeah. so we're like, okay, चलो, we will manage something. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was so much of fun. Like such, such so many stories in last one month. Yeah, meeting different sports personalities. I don't think this would have ever been possible if you know all this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I, I think more also with the fun, I think uh, we got to learn a lot because uh, we, as you said, I think we don't never get to meet uh, other athletes, especially like from other sports. Like cricketers, still we kind of meet up, but with other athletes, it's very hard. So. I think the stories which we got from them and how they became that the player they are. I think that those were one of the best uh, memories for me for la- from last one month. Yeah, and I think from the first time we started our episode till now, we've seen like so much of change in our you know recording the confidence we got <laughs> yeah. by doing more and more episodes. Especially yeah. Joy, I think she's yeah. been such a cool mentor. You should give us a fake confidence. Remember, fake confidence, Arey, Smriti, yeah. Jemmy, you super bad. You are going to kill it on YouTube. I'm telling you. <laughs> and and even like I remember that first episode का जो intro अपन ने short करा है. I think मैं रात को सपने में भी वही बात कर रही थी. Like you know कि because I think we almost ended up uh, speaking uh, like talking that intro almost like five or six times. Before so, doing no, the actual one. B- before doing two days before we are already practicing it. Yeah. And then yeah. on the day then again we had to retake it. Oh, yeah, God, I think like, how much man. Mary respect बहुत बढ़ गई है anchors के लिए you know like. Same same. Next level. Not an easy job guys. <laughs> not Whoever an easy job. It's not an easy job. <laughs> But it's been a wonderful experience for both of us, and I'm sure you know we are going to learn so much more. And thank you to all of you all for watching and supporting us. You know that means so much to us. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to invite our guests on the show for today. Put your hands together for Saurabh Goshal and Josh Nachinappa. Josh Nath Sala, welcome to Double Trouble. I think it's so wonderful to have you all both on the show. Thank it's you. It's a privilege to be on the show with three women, man. This is the boys' dream. <laughs> <game. laughs> it's three against one, man. Three against one. Trust me, by the end of this, it's going to be me, and you're going to be with me. So we'll, we'll play it. Oh, there's a lot of confidence. Okay, fine. Josh Nath, has it always been like this? The confidence? <laughs> oh my God, he has been hitting on girls from the time we were like eleven, twelve. <laughs> <laughs> in fact when he first moved to chennai uh i made him meet like some of my class friends and all of them he's like that girl's really cute i'm asking her out tomorrow <laughs> i'm like you just met her yesterday like at least let her you know get to know you and all of that and he nothing nothing stopped him back then so has has he tried anything on you like any time Apparently, I was a little out of his league. But, uh, <laughs> oh. but apparently, he did try. Sort of, what happened? So I think uh, she's like twisting the story a little bit. 
Firstly, she's not out of my league. She is uh, someone that I wouldn't even go close to. Like, like oh. life fans. Oh. Uh, I think the roast has started here, Sindhu. I think earlier it was just me and Jamie, you know, taking each other's case and, you know, guests always, you know, not talking, like, taking each other's case. But I think it's like proper double triple into two. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So, uh, so, Joshna has very bad t- taste in bed. And then she's always had that. So uh, she was she was going through a bit of a breakup at this time. This was in Kuwait, Asian Team Championships about a decade back. Wait, firstly, it was and not the Asian team, team Championship. It was, was not the Asian, Asian Teams. Okay, which I was some Asian Championships it was for sure. Okay. And the boys team, like we always get up to like no good pretty much. So um, like I said, like you know, like she's never been someone that I've kind of felt attracted to or anything like that. It was always like a very platonic relationship. So we decided to kind of, um, you know, take take her, take the piss a little bit and, uh, you know, cheer her up. So I decided to sit at uh, the lunch, uh, the team lunch next to her. And I kind of told her, I'm like, Joshna, look, you know, you're going through a really bad patch. I don't think you've really like, you know, been with a guy you know, who's really taken care of you and given you uh, you know what you deserve and and made any effort. So why don't I take you out on a um, like for dinner tomorrow night? You know you you and me can go for dinner. We, we all thought she was just just gonna like blow me off because she knows like I joke all the time with her. And then she was like, yeah, okay, we can go for dinner. So all the boys we were looking at each other. We were like, okay, this is interesting. And so we just did that, that. And then we we you know we practiced in the evening and everything. And then we come back uh, for dinner at night for the team dinner. And then she's like, on the way to dinner, she's like, Saurav, I have to speak to you. I'm like, yeah, tell me. She's like, were you being serious that you're going to take me out for dinner? I'm like, yeah, totally serious. She's like, no, 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 no. You cannot be like this. How can you be like this? You're my friend. I cannot do this with you. You cannot go with me. I'm like, man, you really thought I was going to take you out for <laughs> Firstly, I don't remember any of this. And secondly, look how smart he is this. saying that no, he didn't mean it and all when I said no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but I think by the description you gave to Joshna, I, I understand that, you know, what Joshna was telling initially that you're very good with girls. <laughs> like, you know, you've not dated a girl, a guy who's, you know, uh, like who's, uh, you know, taken proper care of you. And I think that a lot of girls, you know, take it very seriously that, okay, okay, um, I, he might be a good guy, you know, right? <laughs> might. Might is the word. <laughs> yeah. Those days are gone, man. I'm married now. Those days are done. Yeah. <laughs> you better be careful what you speak today, you know, just yeah, saying. Yeah, because sure you have to stay at home. Why is wife knows very all the relaxed. She is the most yeah. happiest when he talks about our <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, so coming to the serious question. So squash is a very physically demanding sport. So how are you all coping up by being fit during the lockdown? When the first lockdown happened, I was like, you know, I was excited. I was like, you know, this is my time to take this break. And, you know, because we always live out of suitcases and you're always taking flights and you're so frustrated when you're doing that you know like I wish I was home I wish I had this break and all of that so I was very excited for the first couple of weeks and then it started really kicking in that you know I wasn't able to go out and then the motivation to train was dropping quite a bit even if you're a little lazy at home you know when you drive to train the motivation comes back and when you're at the training ground you know you're pumped up and ready to go and here I was, um, I lost my whole sense of time. I was sleeping at whatever time I want, waking up whenever. So my body was a lot more lethargic. And uh, just training is so hard in the sense that I did not want to train, you know. But somehow I had the discipline that I had to get a, a certain amount of work done within the week just so that I don't lose, you know, my form and all of that. So just the basic stuff, you know, doing a lot of uh, my own body weight exercises. Uh, trying to do a lot of skipping and you know just trying to be as uh, active as possible so that I don't have to start from scratch once mm. uh, all of this is over. I've actually experienced it like a diametrically opposite thing to Joshna which is quite common. Um, <laughs> so when the thing started I was actually I was actually struggling a little bit because you know it was in the middle of the season and uh, once it stops you know there's so much uncertainty like you don't know when you're going to start again and and, uh, you know, both Joshna and me are, are 33. So, you know, we have a few years left in the sport. So, you know, all the time is, is precious. Uh, but I think over, over a period of time, I've kind of learned to accept the situation a little bit and understand that, you know, there's, 
uh, almost no point thinking about when I'm going to start again or when the tour is going to start again. So just focusing on the present and trying to find uh, kind of creative ways to train as much as possible because you know you don't have access to equipment uh, like weights or you know stationary bikes and things like that. So it's difficult, but um, I think initially it was almost like when it stopped, I was doing what George is kind of doing now, where I was kind of going to sleep late, watching movies, waking up late. And it was difficult, but I think now I've gotten into some sort of a routine, and uh, you know, found my found my routine at this time, so to say, and and that's that's helped. And you know, as as sports people, I think all of us would agree that you know, routine is a very important part of our lives. Uh, it is mundane, but it kind of gives us direction in a lot of ways, uh, inadvertently and unconsciously, but it does. So I think I've found a good space right now. Um, of course, it remains to be seen how long I am in that space. I'm going to try to keep myself in that space. <laughs> yeah, that's a task. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a task. But, uh, but as of now, things are good. Uh, hopefully, you know, we will see the light at the end of the tunnel soon. And we'll have more certainty. Uh, I think for all of us, I think we all want to get back to doing what we love doing. And uh, we just have to wait and watch, I guess. So, like, do you all sometimes feel the pressure of, you know, carrying the Indian team? Yeah, I think... Uh, uh, I mean, you do have a point in the sense that if you if you look at just Saurav and me, I think with the men's, there's a lot more depth uh, as opposed to the women's in India. We have a couple of girls who are on the rise, but probably not, uh, you know, playing on the pro tour full time the way I do. So I definitely feel it a little bit when I'm playing at team championships when you need like your one, two, three, four really strong. But right now, say, it's probably just me and the other two girls are, you know, coming up. So in that sense, yeah, it would be great if, a lot more of the women playing, uh, you know, squash professionally, so that we can, you know, look forward to having a much stronger uh, team presence, you know, on the world world stage. But um, but having said that, I think the two girls who are right after me are, you know, pretty solid, and uh, they work really hard, and you know, they just need a little bit more exposure on the professional tour to, you know, compete at that level day in and day out. I think the pressure is uh, is there, you know, whether you know you're number one or number two playing for the country at any point in time. There is there is a pressure, but uh, you know that pressure is a privilege. Uh, you have worked hard to have that pressure almost in a lot of ways. Uh, I think for Joshna and me now, um, you know, ten years back, Indian squash was not competitive on the world stage. Uh, now we are competitive on the world stage. The next step is to uh, you know kind of almost conquer the world. Uh, in a lot of ways that, you know, y'all as the women's cricket team are trying to do, you know, be reaching the final and taking that final step to actually be world champions. So the pressure is to push that envelope, you know, to do something for the first time, uh, to be able to kind of believe that something that's never been done before uh, can be done and uh, you're going to be the one doing it. Um, and uh, again, that is a good problem to have. That is a good space to be in, to, you know, to be able to push yourself uh, to that level. Um, and um, I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest. You know, there's a there's a special satisfaction when you can manage to you know push that envelope and push that barrier consistently and uh, and become the best in the world. Like, how did you guys select squash as your professional sport? Like, you know, it's uh, squash is. I would I wouldn't say that. Like, how it was women's cricket. I think like four years or five years back, you know, it wasn't the go-to sport for a women to you know start playing cricket. So I think it's similar to squash. So how you guys came into squash? For me, my my dad was a squash player. I would run into a squash court with him, and then we had a whole group of friends playing badminton, tennis. So I play all these different sports, you know, at the club. It just so happened that my dad and mom sat me down and said that you know you can't be playing all sports and you know choose any one sport and you know play that more consistently. And so I ended up choosing squash because, you know, my dad was a player. He coached me, you know, for a very long time. So there was a sense of familiarity with the sport, you know, and uh, so that's how I ended up taking it seriously. Myself, my, my dad used to play. So, you know, that was the introduction to the game. But uh, I used to play cricket very seriously as well till I was 13. Oh. Um, so in, in Calcutta, I was in Arulal's Cricket Coaching Academy and I was part of the team and everything. And at 13, I kind of uh, was going into class nine and I'm sure you all understand parents in India want you to do well in academics <laughs> as well and doing yeah. two sports seriously and uh, and studying as well is, is, is not the easiest thing in the world. So I had to kind of choose. I think the two things that kind of swayed it uh, to a small measure, one was the fact that squash was an individual sport. So the destiny of what I did or didn't do lay in my hands and I liked the idea of that. 
cricket uh, for you know all that is good in the sport is a team sport and sometimes you know getting chosen in teams and stuff is not dependent just on you and i was and i felt a bit frustrated about that uh, the second and most important thing was when i was on the squash court for like that hour in the day that i went to play squash was the happiest i felt um like you know like i'm sure like when you're batting for example you know you feel this high whether you're playing well or badly just the fact that you're competing on the stage that you're competing you know that high cannot be replicated no matter what you do and just being on the squash court even when i'm practicing the high that i used to get that then and thankfully even now is is unparalleled and that's what kind of made me um take squash up seriously in terms of turning pro i think it was a natural transition probably for joshna and me both because i think both of us were very good juniors on the world stage so that kind of gives you the belief that you know you can go on to really make this a, a career uh, because you need to have some proof in the past so to say to tell you that you can do this you know and being very good in the juniors uh, definitely helped make that decision i don't think it was really a conscious decision i think it was a gradual transition into uh, a professional player and um, i think both of us just jumped into it because we loved it so much sora was also a very he's very good academically so we mm. both did our 11th and 12th together in lady anda oh. you know back in chennai and literally <laughs> sora would have his book up until you know the teacher was like let's go in for your board exams you know sora was that kind of a bookworm and i would be trying to yank the book out of his hands like, <laughs> and he would get so mad and then finally when the exam results were announced you know we were all at the academy and i was jumping with joy i had got 70% and i thought i was like so amazing that i got 70 <laughs> and then sora walked in like all sad and depressed so we were like you know what happened like how much did you get and he's like uh, oh i got 96 points something and i missed the first place by like four marks and can you that sort of like oh my god so <laughs> she's like she's like i think he's like one of those you know those 90 like, you know, topper 90% student like, yeah. look, like we will be like even if you miss 10 marks it will be fine even if they miss a fill in the blanks ka one answer they will be like <laughs> oh god they'll be crying yeah. like i have i had topper friends and they used to cry I the think, whole night that they missed that one mark <laughs> yeah. yeah i think he topped what subject did you top sort of i think uh, i it topped or? no i the state i topped hindi and oh. uh, in school hindi yeah <laughs> hindi you can learn anything <laughs> now you know why we don't get along that way well. yeah <laughs> so it was it was really funny actually so to get your board exam marks you had to go to your principal and she used to like give you the marks and i remember walking in uh, to a room and she was very sweet and stuff and she's like what have you done and i'm looking at her thinking like what have i done and i'm like ma'am what and she's like what have you done in hindi i'm like what and you know what she is talking about one fill in the blanks like i knew because i had screwed up one of the like the match the following so i knew like something was wrong so i, I knew it right so i was like and i told her i'm like ma'am i know i got one of the match the following wrong but i don't know other than that i thought it went pretty all right she's like no no i'm not talking about how badly you've done you've like absolutely aced it you've like got the highest in school like ever like you have to teach hindi to the kids and i'm like oh really and she's like yeah and and the reason why i was like to be honest i wasn't sad because i came second i was sad because i came second by 3 marks and the reason i was sad was because only the topper in the school like his name is on the board in school yeah So, yeah. you know so i wanted my name on the board so i was like man i was so close and now my name is not on the board for this like he's good, good at cooking he's good at squash he's good at studies what are you not good at because sort of actually he's good at getting girls also at... as joshna i'm i'm sorry i was covering there i was covering there i'm not part of that list <laughs> not, not that list. no 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 yeah. no no i'm saying that you had mentioned that he's like good at getting girls initially right Listen, so yeah he's good at that All the things you want to know that I'm not good at, I'll give you my wife's number. She'll give you a massive list. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, I think uh, coming back to the serious question. Uh, so squash, like when we see it on TV, it's always like a very entertaining sport, and you know it has everything to be in Olympics. So uh, still, it is not you know uh, yet there in the Olympics. So what are your thoughts about it? I think you hit the nail on the head. It's got everything to be in the Olympics. It takes all the Olympic ideals. uh but you know unfortunately in the world we live in it's it's not as black and white as as you know we want it to be there are a lot of gray areas and 
Uh, you know, the process of getting into the Olympics is not as transparent as what I believe it should be. Uh, we've tried pretty hard, I think, uh, for the last, I don't know, 14 to 16 years to get in and it hasn't happened. Um, I think we need to, as a sport, as a whole, uh, obviously we are disappointed that we are not in it, uh, but we have a very good sport that we play. Uh, you know, there are a lot of things that we can improve uh, organically in our sport, uh, you know, moving forward. And I think the money and the effort needs to be put in on that side of things and almost kind of have an attitude that we're going to make the sport as good as it possibly can be. And hopefully once we do that, then the Olympics will see the value of, of squash in the Olympics and, and come to us saying that, you know, we want you there. And I think that's the uh, kind of direction that I would take it um, you know, moving forward, it's uh, it's difficult to kind of pinpoint. I don't think anyone in the squash world can pinpoint the reasons as to why we're not there yet. I think uh, every sport has its unique difficulties and strengths and brings out the best in terms of athletes. And, and squash has its unique characteristics as well. And and I, I believe that as squash players, the top squash players in the world are one of the best athletes in the world as well. Um, and we deserve that platform to showcase uh, the excellence that we bring forward on that court. But unfortunately, we're not there today. But, you know, there's no point crying over spilt milk. You know, we need to do uh, what we can with what we have right now and make the best of it. And I think that's the best way to to uh, to go forward with it. Makes sense. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I think we're, we're done with questions. We just have one, one last task for Joshna. <laughs> she, has to, she has to give a message to our Hindi fans, you know. She, uh, <laughs> really, really, really. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is, yeah. This is just the last task we have. Host. <laughs> just, a, just a small uh, message for all the Hindi fans out there, you know. Because, you know, we've spoken, spoken mostly in English. I, mean, so I, I, mean, I don't speak it. the language at all. So, how can I even <laughs> say anything? This is a small tool I want for all the Hindi fans. <laughs> Now I have a total brain freeze. Like there's no way of getting any line out of my head because now I'm in panic mode. Like Come on, JC, you spent oh. enough time with Harry Rabbit and myself. Come on, come on, you can do it. All you guys did was say abusive things, okay? Like I'm not using that kind of language. <laughs> <laughs> but you have stayed with the guy who stopped in Hindi, man. Something yeah, that you yeah. might have learned from him. Come on, George, man. Be a sport, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, don't worry. It doesn't go, know doesn't go well. We'll, we'll, we'll cut this. We'll edit this part. Yeah, you know, if it's crap, they'll edit it. Don't worry. Yeah. We'll just go for yeah, it. Yeah, but at least need to know what to say. I don't even Unless know what to say. Say like, two, three lines and she'll translate in English and she'll oh. translate it in Hindi. What? I what, don't uh... even know. You support me. Thank you. Oh, I'll say, I'll say that. I, I can say that. Uh-huh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, support in Hindi? Me kya support? Support? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. We have to make it up for us. Aapke support ke liye dhaniyabad. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> wow. I thought well that done, was well very done. impressive. <laughs> it surely was. I mean, Saurabh was really impressed. You could see his guys' reaction. I'm, I'm, I'm like falling off my chair here. <laughs> I I think he was waiting for this to happen from the whole episode, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, Smithy, you're my new favorite host now. <laughs> Yeah, but thank you so much for coming on our show. We love the friendship Thanks, that you all you. both share. And <laughs> hopefully we'll meet soon. <laughs> <laughs>
except troubling each other and being with each other whose company you enjoy the most among all your teammates both on and off the field i think except smriti now uh, we have harleen <laughs> deol we have arundhati reddy and radha yadav so we all enjoy you know each other's company on and off the field and you know we all keep taking each other's case so what we and smriti do so we just have a larger group where everybody takes each other's case but you know the best part about this group is we have formed a bond and i mean we'll always be there for each other And I think मैं सबसे शांत हूँ उस ग्रुप में लोगों को लगेगा नहीं अभी ये डबल ट्रबल देख के बट डोंट लव जेम्स यूर नॉट वो बहुत रेयर है ना बटली गुड But okay. but तुम लोगों से तो आया मैनी डे लाइक शार्ट ऑफ कोर्स मी एंड हथलीन डज नो कंपैरिजन नेम अ शॉट दैट यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस मोस्ट टू इंप्रूव योरसेल्फ इन दैट पर्टिकुलर शॉट टू बिकम परफेक्ट व्हिच शॉट इज दैट आई थिंक आई हैव प्रैक्टिस द मोस्ट लाइक लाइक मे बी कवर ड्राइव एंड अ पुल बट टू परफेक्ट अ शॉट आई आई थिंक स्वीप इज अ शॉट व्हिच शायद मुझे बहुत प्रैक्टिस करनी पड़ती है उसको परफेक्ट करने के लिए फिर भी परफेक्ट होता नहीं है because i i have a fear that oh i it'll hit on my helmet i don't know why so i don't wait, play wait, much wait, wait. Strength, i mean you play the bounce so, so well me. which has more chances of you hit, it hitting harder on your helmet and you get scared of hitting a spinner like I a mean, sweep shot or you, spinner you you this this uh, you know kya bolte hum height wale logon ko samjhega nahi ye problem humme height wale rehte na sweep shot is a task as i feel i don't know but Bounce. it's quite hard okay. to chalo बेस्ट पार्ट इज ना स्मृति का ईगो उसको बोलने का स्वीप खेलना नहीं आता है नेक्स्ट मैच में शी स्वीप यू फॉर अ सिक्स रिमेंबर न्यूजीलैंड अरे दैट या आई डू रिमेंबर दैट बट वो कभी-कभी हो जाता है बट लाइक इफ यू टेल मी टू प्रैक्टिस स्वीप शॉट मुझे याद है समवन वाज लाइक फीडिंग मी अंडर आर्म बॉल एंड आई वाज लाइक हिटिंग इट प्रॉपर्ली एंड जैसे ही वो स्पिनर गया एक मैंने ट्राई किया डायरेक्ट हेलमेट पे खाया उसके बाद से आई वाज लाइक I am like you know I'm not I'll play some different shot I'll flock sweep but not a proper sweep and if you see you like you sweep so well like you go and mm-hmm. properly sweep <laughs> mera aise hi rehta hai but anyhow you have other shots so why do you need it Uh, yeah, but uh, the question was like to perfect a shot. अब और वो मुझे लगता नहीं शायद till I retire it will ever get perfect. Yeah. So my question is from Jayesh. How do you handle pressure at such a young age? Advice to the youngsters, young girls taking up the game. I think the only advice I would give is stop laughing. <laughs> Nah, like, I think the only uh, I'm just figuring out that you know, like youngster, you have to give advice to youngster. I'm just like that transition. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, yeah, it's like you have to give advice to the youngsters. So I will just say uh, to all the youngsters out there, the most important thing to remember is to enjoy whatever you do. You know, the more you enjoy. even if it's a pressure situation the more you enjoy that situation the better you will do and the better results you'll get so this is something i've been learning through my experience i mean i needed to develop this even once smriti my mentor has given me a lot of advice to do that keep enjoying jemmy don't take too much pressure but yeah so i've been developing this and it might take some time but i think if you put it in practice definitely you'll get this so yeah enjoy whatever you'll do So, ladies and gentlemen, what a journey it has been! And definitely, Smriti and I, both of us, enjoy doing the show, enjoy getting to know our guests, but even more, answering your questions. And the love that you guys have shown towards us is amazing. And we thank you so much for all of this. So, until we meet again, hopefully on the field soon. <laughs> yes. For the last time, this is Lil J and Smriti Mandana signing off. <laughs>